Hi, I'm Chris Johnston from Work Visa Lawyers and welcome to our Australian immigration videos. We are one of Australia's largest immigration law firms with a team of professional immigration lawyers and registered migration agents who can help. If you would like us to help you, please hit subscribe and the bell to get notified of our new videos. Today's video will talk about the changes in the temporary graduate visa 485. Australia is trying hard to bring back its valuable international students and graduates. The aim is to help the economy recover post-pandemic. From the 15th of December 2021, fully vaccinated temporary graduate subclass 485 visa holders can enter Australia without a travel exemption. In this video, we cover all the changes to the graduate visa. The government has changed the requirements for those temporary graduates who have been affected by COVID-19 travel restrictions. If online study was undertaken outside of Australia while holding a student visa, this will count towards the Australian study requirement. Graduates can apply and be granted a visa outside Australia. This will be useful for those with their student visas that have expired and cannot return to Australia. Please remember to apply within six months of completing your eligible qualification. If you're not sure about your eligibility, please submit your inquiry by the link above or simply type in your question to the comment section below. Future temporary graduate subclass 485 applicants will also enjoy more flexible criteria. From November 2021, graduates of Masters by Coursework can get three years post-study work visas and one or two more years if they studied in regional areas. Your extension length will be determined by which postcode you have lived in. There have been a lot of successful applicants who get three years study on their 485. Please remember that this only applies to those who get their visas granted after December 2021. There is no automatic extension for the previous 485 visa holders who completed their masters in Australia before the announcement date. Big news for VET graduates. You are going to receive a temporary increase from 18 to 24 months or to five years for Hong Kong passport holders. It gives you more time to complete your job ready program, typically taking at least one year and another few months before applying for a skilled visa. From the 18th of February 2022, temporary graduate subclass 485 visa holders who are affected by the COVID-19 travel restrictions will have their visas extended or enlivened to the 30th of September 2022. This visa extension is free and will happen automatically. It will include all family members included on the original temporary graduate visa. This extension will assist those holders staying in Australia and applying for a replacement stream visa, which we will talk about in the next part of this video. Please check our blog link above for more information about the eligibility guidelines. The COVID-19 replacement stream is a replacement for the initial temporary graduate visa. This stream will be available from mid 2022 and only for temporary graduate visa holders impacted by the travel restrictions. This means people who could not stay in Australia for the entire period allowed by their previous temporary graduate visa. Successful applicants will have a full validity of their initial 485 visa. To be eligible for this stream, you must currently hold or have held a temporary graduate visa that expired on or after the 1st of February 2020. And you must have been outside at any time between the 1st of February 2020 and the 15th of December, 2021. The Department of Home Affairs is still determining the requirements. Further details will become available in the coming months. Please stay tuned and check out blogs and articles for updates on this matter in the link above. The government recognises the valuable contribution of temporary visa holders and acknowledges the disruption caused by the COVID-19 travel restrictions. To go on with these positive changes for the 485, we hope that the Australian government will take more effective measures to deal with the backlog of skilled visas in the 190 and 189. There is currently a significant backlog of visas waiting to be granted since 2019. 
These visa holders play an essential part of Australia's recovery. That's it for today. Thank you for watching our video regarding all the changes to the graduate visas. We hope this video is helpful to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified of our new videos. Thank you and see you soon.